everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're covering the arrow icon with a mouse click tap element trigger. We're going to be using a Webflow native slider and we have our native slider arrows and inside we have our Lottie icon animation. And let's see what this looks like in preview as we continue going through the slides we're going to run our Lottie icon animation with previous and next buttons. Nice, it has a nice little custom effect to it, custom feel to it. This is totally possible just with interactions, but with the Lottie icon, we are taking less steps to make that arrow move. Before we get into interactions, let's see how this is set up inside Navigator. We have our native Webflow slider. Nothing needs to be done here with the mask or the slider itself. We have our previous button and our next button and inside has our Lottie icon arrow. The Lottie icon itself is what's going to be the trigger for initiating the Lottie icon animation. Also know that our previous has an add-on class of left and that's going to transform, rotate 180. And doing this is going to allow us to use the same exact Lottie icon for next and previous, the same exact interaction for next and previous, and it's still going to have that arrow moving left to right for next and right to left for previous. So a lot less steps by just applying this rotate. All right, let's jump in and see how this works. We have our Lottie icon arrow selected. It is going to be tied to a mouse click tap element trigger. And when we open up, we're going to see on first click arrow, click and hover in. On second click, nothing. It's just a first click trigger. You can see that we are sharing the click and hover interactions with our hover example. So we're on the click example. When we get to the hover example, we're using the same exact interaction sequence here. And this is a really great way to reuse things on your site. All right, let's get in. You can see that we are working with the interaction trigger once it's clicked but the initial state is set to all elements with this class. This is an important one to make this work. So the reason it's set to all elements is to make sure that both of these have an initial state of 53%. If this was changed to the interaction trigger, it's only going to apply it to this one. And it's not a true initial state of both versions. So let's see what happens when we preview this. This one has the initial state we want. This one doesn't. And when we go and click on it, it is going to show, but we want it to be initially set to 53%. So for initial state, we're going to change that target to the other one, not the one that we started creating the interaction with and that's going to create all elements with this class, which is exactly what we want. And then when we click, we want it to be the interaction trigger because we only want the one that we click on to be animated. We don't want all of the arrow icons to be animated when we click on one of them. So this is the exact setup we're looking for, it totally works. And with the initial state of 53, on click in 0.3 seconds, we're going to 63 which brings the arrow icon out. And then we're going back to 53, which brings it back to center. So it creates this center, move out. And then for previous, the other way. Nice, totally works. You can really play around with the, the percentages and what's going on here. There's actually a lot more inside this Lottie icon. So check it out, we have the circle animating. You can start at any position here. You can start from zero and go to 63. 
you can pulse more than once. Look how we have a double pulse. And there's even a leaving state. So we did the more simple version here, but you can get creative, do something a little different, set different stages, different timings for different parts of the Lottie icon animation. Really flexible. But we're gonna keep it here at 53, going to 63 and back to 53. And that's it. We are done. There's no second click. We're done with our first click. Totally works. And it looks great with just a couple of timed actions on our interaction. That is how you implement an arrow icon with a mouse click tab. That's effing sweet.